Okay, I went around, I'm getting ready to put the, tile, the backsplash up. I've got my tile cutter out. I already cut um, nine half size tiles, which is what I think there's three rows or six rows and you know, to stack. If I stack the tiles up, there'll be three rows or nine, shoot, there'll be six rows and I'll need three half tiles for each section. So I'll do three half tiles here, three half tiles here, and three half tiles on the end over there. So that's nine all together. Those are done. Um, I marked my lines. We, we're going to go even with the countertop. That's what we decided to do. Some people go even with the, with the actual cabinet. We decided to pull ours all the way out to the countertop. That way it'll be, if, if he water gets up there and stuff, it'll be, we'll take care of it. So I drew my lines up with a level and just leveled them all off. Um, I've taken all the outlet covers off. The power is turned off, so there's no power on the outlet. And if you look around, let's go. Um, he's making noise. He, um, he's a little stinker. I pulled all the outlet covers off and pulled all the outlets away from the wall so I could put my tile underneath of them. And you can see there's plenty of room to stick a tile under there. So, so the next I'm gonna just get my, my adhesive ready and uh, get my trowel, my V-notch trowel and start putting stuff on the wall and sticking tile on there. Okay, I'm putting uh, the adhesive or the mastic on right now. I try not to get it on the tiles any more than I have to. On the quartz, the on the countertop, sort of now, yeah. How thick do you have to get it? This will this will set it up. I mean, see the the trials, the notches will make it a certain thickness. And are you going to do like that hollow square under there before you start putting any tiles on there? No, I'll do like just the bottom half. I didn't really should have done up there, honestly. There. Well, like I said, I'm trying not to get it on the countertop anymore than that. Okay, I'm checking in. It's a slow process. It is a slow process. This is taking a while, but you know what? It looks perfect. You did a really good job around that outlet. Yeah, that's what takes so long. It's just this one has a lot of cuts. Yeah, but you have outlets all along no, the way. I have to cut around the outlet, then I have to cut each time oh, on the edge okay. over here. And it just takes time. Um, I'm having to back butter each one of these because I don't have enough room to really get up in there, which is fine. It works perfectly fine and stick them in there. And I get less squishing out on the top. I just got a really thin screwdriver, really thin flathead screwdriver. And that's what I, if I see anything come out, I just kind of go through there and scrape it out. So what do you think about the subway towel? Do you like it? Because I know that you had doubts. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Do you like it? I love it. So that's that is finished. I love it, Kevin. I really, really do. It's too bad you couldn't have the electric on. That way you could have the lights on. How come you had to turn the electric off anyway? Because I got those outlets exposed. We didn't want to stick your finger up in there and accidentally shock yourself. Uh -huh. Okay, it's been a little while, uh, a long while actually, and I'm checking in, and uh, Ashley's home from work, so she's helping. Ashley, what are you helping to do? I'm helping stick tiles on and put the adhesive on. Adhesive. Is that good? As good as I do. Do <laughs> that. I think it looks good. Oh, yeah, I do, I do. Okay, Kevin's out here at the wet saw, and you can tell he's cut quite a few pieces out here, uh, but I haven't showed him actually doing it. Why are, are some of them cut on the wet saw and some of them cut These. inside? These I have to cut the whole length of the tile and it's a real narrow, like just the very, very top of the tile gets cut off. Right. And you can't use that score saw for that because it's the sole cutter because it's a score cutter because it's too thin and it won't snap it. 
So that's why I'm on the saw for that. Or if you have notches like that, you right. have to cut those on the wet saw too because you can't notch with that scoring thing. So this was actually, we had it from way back when we did a slate floor. Yeah. And how's it working out for this tile? It's fine. I, this thing's, it's just getting old and worn out now. Right. And uh, this thing's not one to snap on right. And I'm just fighting with it a little bit. But it works. I only have a few more, so. Right. And it was cheap, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It didn't cost hardly anything. Anyway. them off just so i won't have to carry all that crap in the house but if you had a bucket you said you would rinse them off in the, bucket. Them in the bucket yeah. these are the pieces that uh kevin just cut out back i figured i would show him putting uh, his method of putting them up so you decided to put them on the top the on the tile instead of on the wall well just because i knew i was going to be a minute to cut them and i don't want to put a bunch of adhesive on the wall and not be able to uh, use it before it dried out. Yeah, let's take something, rag, my fingernail, something, just rub down the edge, just make sure. And I'll put that uh, gray caulk mm -hmm. down there, like the grout, and you, you won't even be able to see that edge. It'll all fill in. And fill it nice. For the next one, here and you'll see there is a little gap there is a gap up there but it's not too awfully bad how uh, much how much was this saw right here like 20 bucks 20 bucks and now what are you having it there you smooth out the edge with this stone uh -huh. and this came with that kit a lot the bucket yeah the 20 dollar bucket see if i can get another one that's about the same size and that's gonna go right up here those it is 8 35 and kevin was that your last piece yeah turn it So it's taken a while, but uh, I think uh, it's really going to look good, and it's going to sit overnight, and hopefully if Kevin gets off at a good time tomorrow, he'll be able to come home and grout, and then that job will be complete. We won't have to worry about it anymore. So when do you put the caulking on? After you grout? Yeah, once you're grouted. Around the edges? Yeah. Yeah, we're getting ready to grout, and I've got everything taped back off again because we had to use some stuff last night and this morning, so I taped it back off again. Um, I bought this power grout at um, Lowe's. It is charcoal, yeah, charcoal gray is the color we're going for. Um, you basically, it literally says um, one and a half to two, one and three fourths cup of water, which is not much. Um, so we're going to basically, I got that in the bucket, this big, big bucket, and it's probably, maybe it's overkill, I don't know. Um, and I've got my drill with uh, a paddle stirrer on there. Uh, they had the bigger ones, but this drill is not big enough to handle that. So I'm hoping it'll be able to spin that one pretty good. And then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to pour this in here. And then uh, once uh, once we get it mixed up, you let it, you mix it for two minutes, you let it set for three to five minutes, and then you stir it for just another like 30, 45 seconds, and then you're ready to go. So, so that's what Tammy's going to dump this in here so she won't be able to tape. But that w alone was $13. Yeah, and, and we'll see if it works. If it doesn't work for stirring this up, I'll rinse it off and take it back. I made the mistake of turning this on when she was pouring it in, and it made it flop up on my leg. So. You don't know. Don't want to do that until you dump it all in and then turn it on.
I want to show you too. This is where he uh, cut the tile last night and we just left it here. But I want to show you the mess that it makes. You literally get stuff everywhere. So if you don't want white stuff everywhere, then you need to uh, put some plastic down. We didn't care because it's out back and he's going to get a water hose and, and uh, spray it all off. This is the grouting that uh, you don't see on TV. And it makes a horrible mess. And you have to put it in between each of the lines and then you have to wipe it off. So, do you have to immediately wipe it off? You take this and squeeze it off. Oh. And you go at an angle. So you won't pull everything out of the slots. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes since we, uh, Kevin grouted this. So I have a bucket uh, with just some water in it and a sponge. And I'm just going to start wiping it off. Kevin, there's an abrasive side and non abrasive side. Smooth. Smooth? It's so, damp. I mean, not even wet. Oh, not wet? Just, just, I mean, right on with every bit of water. So it needs to be pretty dry. Okay. Yeah, really dry. I'm taking my cues from Kevin. He still is grouting, so. Okay, so you see though, they don't show all this mess on television. This really is quite a mess. So I'm going to be doing this for a while, and uh, but I just wanted to show you how it looks. Is it coming off? <laughs> it's no. It's awful. Horrible. We're still wiping off the grout, and I will tell you right now, it is no fun at all doing this part. Um, you you have to, like, take your, what is that, your trowel? Is that what it's called? Yeah. And, like, Sweet. like squeegee uh, as much of the grout off as you can. And then you have to uh, start wiping it off with a sponge and um, before it dries. But you have to leave it like 15 to 30 minutes. So leave it 15 to 30 minutes, but then don't let it dry completely. So um, anyway, that's where we are now. Hey, tonight Kevin is doing the caulking around the edges. We have let this dry overnight. Um, and you can see this is Kevin's test napkin. Um, but this is what, charcoal gray, Kevin? Yeah. And uh, he's going to go around the bottom and then um, around the edge here. He's already done this. It looks really good. And I'm sure it'll dry a tad darker, just like this did. But the color, the color matched up really well with the grout. And so you're just going to go around all the edges, and then that'll be finished, right? Uh, this brand of caulk, if you want, well, it's cleared out now a little bit, but you can see how much. This is just it's squirting out as you're using it. I mean, literally. Um, I've got the handle pulled back and everything to release the pressure and it's still wanting to squirt out a little bit. So um, just know that you better buy plenty of it because you're going to squirt out a bunch of it just when you're not even using it. What brand was that? Can you tell? Mapey, Mappy, Mappy, I don't know. So there's been a lot of wiping. 
Then why wiping all the white stains? 